Warp Records is one of the most innovative and influential electronic labels worldwide. Steve Beckett and the late Rob Mitchell ran a record store in Sheffield before starting the label in 1989. The first Warp tracks by the likes of Nightmares on Wax, LFO, Tricky Disco or Sweet Exorcist created a whole new style with their bleeps and clonks. Now the label is based in London and continues to release groundbreaking acts. Aphex Twin, Ortecra, Boards of Canada, Prefuse 73 and Maximo Park are just the best known names among these. Label manager Phil Canning talked to Slices about the present and future of Warp. This is the main headquarters of Warp Records in London, in North London. Uh, it's been here for about five years and this is where 15 employees work. We also have a small office in New York with three people and uh, three people working for Warp Films in Sheffield. So here is enclosed uh, Warp Mart, Lex Records, Warp Films, Warp Publishing and Warp Records all under one roof here. roster has always been a, a topic of uh, significant discussion but uh, we like to remind people that we've always been releasing uh, other music apart from electronic music one of the first 12 inches we released was um, by a DJ called DJ Mink called Hey Hey Can You Relate and that was in the top 10 warp releases at the beginning and that was a hip hop track and we've also been dealing with Broadcast who are an indie rock band for uh, 10 years or so so um, although we uh, release the best electronic music we also release other kinds of music as well. So a lot of people are talking about Maximo Park and how we've signed this uh, big rock band, but we've been releasing indie rock music for quite some time and it's much more a factor of finding the best music than tailoring it to any specific genre. We get lots of demos every day, in fact, sent to the office, and a lot of them are not quite up to the standard that we'd like. But uh, a lot of them get listened to, and sometimes bands do get signed from demos, such as, I think, even Orteca was signed from a demo many, many years ago. Obviously, there's an enormous amount of fantastic music, and uh, we have to be very selective in picking only the very best. Uh, a lot of the time, we come very close to releasing records, and they don't get released because we're very, very busy on it with our schedule already. So we believe that there's uh, plenty of incredible music out there beyond our roster. has a very personal feel to it from uh, its artists and uh, its employees. Uh, everybody's friends with each other and I think a lot of artists have very good experience dealing with Warp so we can uh, continue working with artists for many albums because they get a good service from us and we understand the music and we promote it and we agree to a lot of artist demands and uh, work on campaigns together in conjunction with the artists. A lot of people may believe that Warp is an island to itself and not really working in conjunction with uh, other labels and that's not true. I have 
we all have friends at many other labels uh, such as Ninja Tune or Domino, Rough Trade and obviously electronic labels such as Reflex and Planet Mew. We're very close with them. We often do uh, live shows together and uh, exchange ideas about how artists are developing in, in certain territories or in, in certain fields in press or radio or live. So although we may have this reputation for being quite a lonely, geeky label, we do have relationships with uh, many music industry partners, labels and other institutions. We have signed recently an incredible electronic producer from Paris called Jackson, who's uh, brought us one of the freshest and uh, most exciting electronic albums of uh, the last few years. So we're really excited about that. Also coming back are some really massive warp artists such as uh, Boards of Canada have a release later this year. Broadcast are coming back and then Nightmares and Wax probably early next year coming with a release. Over the next few months, our, a new artist of ours, Gravenhurst, is coming back with his second full album. And also there will be a re-release of a classic Aphex Twin release, which was very limited 10 years ago to two 12 inches called Hangable Autobulb. It's being re-released on CD in the next couple of months. I'm stupid to get my head punched in. <laughs> 